Hey guys, Becky with Design Bundles here and I am back today with another great tutorial in Cricut Design Space. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own offset for when you're working with print and cut stickers. Yay! Let's get started! Okay guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Now I have a blank canvas here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to upload the clip art that we're working with today. Now I downloaded some cute birthday clip art and I thought it would be really good in case any of you guys are um, planner people. There we go. So I can choose any of these, any of these that I want. Let's just start. I think this um, birthday present here will be easy. And we're just going to go ahead and choose complex and we will hit continue. Now this um, had a transparent background, but just in case it didn't, let me zoom out. Just in case it didn't, you can click on the white background and it will turn it transparent. So just remember that, but this one came in transparent. It was a PNG file, so we are good to go. So I'm going to hit continue and we have the two options here. We have print then cut and then save as a cut image. Uh, for this first time, we're going to choose print then cut. And now technically we could just keep the print and cut and use this feature directly in your software. Um, but a lot of times I know I personally, when I'm creating stickers, I like to have that white border around the outside and that's what we're going to focus on today. I'm going to teach you how to do that with an image. So let me zoom out a little bit. I just want to make this a little smaller and then I'm going to go to upload again and I'm going to upload the same exact image. And um, I can just select complex again. I don't think that part really matters. Um, leave that the same. But this time I'm going to do save as a cut image. So then I'm going to choose that and import it also. Okay. Now whatever size I decide on, let's see, let's just do, let's do eight inches. And then I want to size this one eight inches also. I want them to be the same size. And then I want to bring this to front. So I'm going to go to arrange and move forward. And now you can see my gift is on top of the black outline. So I'm going to use some shortcuts on my keyboard. I'm going to use control C for copy, control V for paste. And I'm going to paste me quite a few of these images on here. So actually let's zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So you guys can see. And what I'm going to do is once again, I'm just going to make sure that my gift is on top. I want it on top of all of these. There we go. And then I can take these black outline pieces and start creating my own offset. Now, this isn't the easiest thing to do by hand. Um, and it has to be something that, we'll say something that you really want to do <laughs> because it can be frustrating. But basically you will just keep layering these until you get the um, the image that you're looking for to serve as your offset. There we go. Now it does get a little rough in some areas if you look up here at the top of our bow. So if you want to, you can insert um, a shape. I'm going to use a circle and I'm not going to color it in black, but I am going to send to back and size it down. And I'm just going to use it just like that to round out the um, the shape right there. I use my copy and paste again. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. There we go. And then the only other thing we need to straighten out, it looks like we have one of our squares over here is not quite in alignment. We can move our clip art out of the way for a minute. So if you can't seem to get a hold of it, that's okay. We're going to just use our square. We're just going to make it the same size that we need. There we go. So that will even it out. So now you're just going to select everything here and you are going to use weld and weld them all together. Now, if we take our image here, arrange, send to front. There we go. We have a nice outline around the entire gift. All right. Now I know that's not like the, the, best thing you can do as far as time wise, you know, you do have to spend a little bit of time getting used to it. You're going to want to experiment with it a little bit, but that is one way that you can get the border around your design. So then let's just fill this in. We want to fill this in in white. 
There we go, it looks a little bit better. And we can select the whole thing and we're going to choose flatten. So now if I click over to make it, well, it's too big, let's size it down. If I click over to make it, we have this nice little print and cut image, but what you can't see is it's going to have a border around it. Now I did a white border because that's the most common for stickers, um, but you can actually make your border any color that you want. So let me just show you for, for visual effect. And there we go. And you see how it's just going to print and then it will trim because we use the flatten, it'll trim right around this entire gift. So super, super easy. Um, like I said, once you get the hang of it, once you spend a little bit of time working out how to make that own offset, I did show you also how to do this with text. Um, it's a very, very similar way. Um, and you're just going to have those duplicates and move them all around until you get the look that you're going for. Um, so I will post that link for that video for you down in the description area. Um, but that is it. You will basically repeat that process over and over again until you have all the um, stickers and outlines that you need. So how did we feel? All right, so I know that it is a little bit of work to create that offset that gives you the white border around your sticker, but I promise it is so worth it. With a little bit of practice, you can really take that method a long way and you just really kind of knock it down in no time. All right, so make sure you put in some practice on that and then let me know how you feel. I always love to hear from you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down below. Also, any video requests, that's what I'm here for. And make sure you give us that subscribe and check out those notifications. That way you will always be notified whenever we post new tutorial videos. So we appreciate it guys. I'm gonna wrap it up, but thanks again. And we will see you next time.